Alrighty, hello guys, so can we place this back to another Stormworks search and rescue video? Let's go ahead and work in our landing craft once again. Now, there are a few things that I do actually really need to do, and that is, um, it's kind of important. Uh, we actually need to add some sort of landing system to this thing so that when we beach, we don't absolutely destroy the front end of the boat, because that keeps happening. Uh, as well as that, I've actually came up with a different idea about both the roof and also the side. Because, at the minute, the side is obviously closed. Um, but I'm thinking, maybe, we could actually add little windows to this. Uh, little hatches that actually pop up. Uh, where we can actually have, like, soldiers stationed to shoot out the sides. If at all possible. It is also kind of a cool idea to add... I don't know what they're called. But, in Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts... Uh, in fact, on battleships as well, in real life... They had, I think they're called casemates, but I'm not entirely sure, but it's guns that are in the hull, uh, that turn within the hull. Um, we could add guns like that, but I'm more thinking that we open up the side so that people can shoot out, and that would be pretty cool. Yeah, let's do that. Okie stokey! Okie stokey! Alright, so the first thing that I want to do is replace the colour of the bottom with a browner red. Um, because this is actually very bright and I don't really want it to be that bright. Uh, and that makes sense. There we go. That actually looks a lot better uh, and a lot more militaristic. Which is excellent, because that's what we need. Yeah. Right, so now we're actually going to go ahead and go inside and figure out how much room we've actually got. So, uh, those are the lights. Oh, this is going to be a pain in the butt actually if I do it. Uh, but we could totally do it. So, let's say we added a floor in right here. Let's just do it and see what happens. Let's do it and see what happens. There we go. We're only doing it on a little tiny section. But that's okay. So, if we added a little window to up here. There we go. Let's say we actually just did it all the way along. There we go. And all the way backwards as well. All the way to about here. There we go. We should be able to shoot out the sides. That seems really weird. But I kind of like the idea. So, we'll do this. And then every so often we'll have um, a big old barrier. There we go. And then we'll have a big old thingamabobby right here. Excellent. Uh, and we'll be able to shoot out the sides. I don't know whether this is like a, a nice thing or not. I really don't know. I can't tell whether I like it or not. Maybe? Maybe not. I'm not sure. Okay, so I guess the way that I'm actually going to do it then is every one of these we are going to delete uh, about this many. There we go. So... We'll delete about five, and that'll be our window. There we go. Delete about five, and that's our window. Let's do it again, and again, and again, and hopefully we've got something good here. So there we go. Delete about five. Excellent. About five. Excellent. About five. Yes. Five. There we go. And we'll leave that one as it is. But I think that's actually pretty sick. So we'll delete this all the way to the floor. We'll put a, bit, uh, a big old floor in there, and then we should be good, to be honest. So there we go. Obviously, we got little holes in the side of our boat now, but that's okay. So, if we wanted to, if we wanted to, let me delete all of these extra pieces, because there's a lot of them. <laughs> there's a lot of these little extra pieces, but we should get rid of them. There we go. Um, this is kind of annoying, because we've added these lights in the back, and obviously they're not really in the right place. Not really, but that's okay. So, we should be able to walk past them anyway. Possibly. Uh, and that would be great. And even though it's cramped, it doesn't really matter. Not really. So, now, we're going to go ahead and paint the top of this. We're going to paint the side of this. All the way around the bottom of this. And all the way up the side. There we go. We're going to do it again and again and again and again and again. Until it's all done. And then we'll copy and paste this to the other side. And hopefully all will go well. I'm sure it will. Maybe. Yeah, so I'm going to finish painting all these. And I'll be back with you guys. And there we go. They're all actually painted in. That is excellent. So... Now what I'm thinking... Wait, am I doing this on both sides? No. Uh, what have I done on both sides? Like, nothing. Alright, we're only going to do it on one side because reasons. Um, and then we'll actually turn it over and then we'll do it on both sides. So that makes sense. Alright, here we go. Delete all of these. One in each one of them. There we go. All the way down to there. We'll get ourselves a pivot and we'll put it on. Here we go. So robotic pivot. Let's go ahead and whack that on. I, I guess we'll actually just whack it on right there. I think that's probably fine. Press U. There we go. We'll have it like this. Excellent, okay, and this is going to go all the way down uh, to the end until we've covered all of them. There we go, and what we'll do is we'll actually go ahead and do this with this guy, there we go, 
Uh, this with this guy. There we go. There is a cat making cat noises outside my door. That's okay. There we go. Do that. Uh, we're gonna fill all of these in until we're at the end again. Um, and essentially, these are actually gonna pitch up. We'll be able to shoot out, and then you can actually close them whenever you want as well. I think that that works. It's kind of interesting. I don't know whether you'd ever do this in real life. In fact, you probably wouldn't ever do this in real life. Except from on maybe like a pirate ship back in the olden days. But, um, yeah. I don't know. There we go. Um, the other thing is, I kind of feel like the bottom one should be like, like this. Or maybe we should even have an opening. I kind of feel like we should have an opening, but we're not going to. Alright, I'm going to go back across them all, and I'm going to fill them in like this. Okie dokie, so they are all done. I don't know whether we should have it so that all of them open separately, and maybe that works. So let's add a switch box. Uh, this is one that's on the workshop. Type in switch box and you'll find it. There you go. Um, I need to remember to actually, like, give um, credit to these guys. Because this is actually a really cool um, thing that's on the workshop that they've allowed people to use. So there we go. We'll add one for every window. Um... There we go. I don't know how many windows there are, but let's go with, like... In fact, let's count the windows and then put these in. That makes more sense. So we'll have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We need eight. All right, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There we go. We should be about the right markings there. That should be fine. Um, I'm going to logicify all of this together. We need a button in every window, so let me do that first. All right, button. Uh, it only needs to be on one side, so it needs to be on the inside. There we go. And we'll do that for literally every single one of them. This is going to take a little while, but I'm sure it's fine. Yeah, we'll do it. All right, so I've now attached all the switch boxes to the right places. We apparently, I, I guess I can't count, so there we go. We'll take that one out. Uh, right, okay, excellent. So now, I've actually attached all of those together. We need this to go to the other bit. There we go, so this to there. We need to do it on literally every single one of them, but that's okay, because it doesn't take too, too long. There we go, keep it going. Keep it going all the way. There we go, excellent, there we go, excellent, and there we go, excellent, very good. So now, we actually need electricity to both the button and also to the pivot. There we go. So if we can get that done, that would be amazing. I've actually attached it to the lights in the background as well. Um, and that means if any of this actually gets damaged, then the electricity should continue through the line. Sort of, at least. There we go. So they're all attached. Excellent. Very good. Uh, and now we can actually... Let's attach that one to there as well. Um, now we can actually go through all of these and press 1. Or make it 1. There we go. 1, 1, 1... <laughs> this is going to take a little bit of time as well, but that's okay. There we go. One. We need to make sure it floats, too. I should have made sure it floats before doing this. But whatever, it's fine. All right, spawn it in. Do you float? Yes, you do. Nothing looks awry. Okie dokie. And we currently have no way of getting to those. <laughs> we don't actually have a door, so that's the problem. All uh, right, give me this. There we go. Go down to here. We'll delete it so that we have a room for a door. We will never have room for a door. Oh, God. Okay. So, if we can fit... If we can squeeze... Through there, that would be great. Alright, can we squeeze? I don't know whether we can squeeze through a 2 by. Oh, okay. Let's try it. Let's just see if it works. Alright, jump on. There we go. Go inside. Go downstairs. So, this is how you'd get to it. Alright, go... Not through there, but through here. There we go, and you can run all the way down. Anyone? Oh my god, okay, they're all inverted. <laughs> they're, they're all the wrong way. Although, actually, if it peeks inwards, can we still stand under it? No. Okay, we'll, we'll switch it. They're all going to point outwards. Okay. Okie dokie, so they're all actually fixed now. Let's just go ahead and fly straight down into here, and then we can actually go the right way. So, open this up. There we go, walk through. Close it back up again. We can actually open this one. Open this one. Open this one. It is only done on one side as well, I should say. I should mention that. It is literally only built on one side, but there you go. So all of them actually open up. We need guns inside of here so we can actually shoot the enemy. Uh, and that would be sick. Yeah, that would actually be really, really cool. So let's have a little look and see what it looks like from the outside. From the outside, it looks weird, to be fair. It does look pretty weird. But it would work. 
So I'm actually okay with that. If you're transporting troops as well as tanks, they might as well be able to shoot out the side. Maybe. I don't know. Because up here you've got like no protection, but down there you do. So maybe that's fine. I don't know. It's a bit of a weird design, but I think I'm going to keep it. Okay, so the weird part about this is I'm actually going to have to grab it from there all the way to this side, wherever it may be, to here. And then I'm going to have to go all the way down uh, and grab it on these pieces. There we go. Uh, and well, I'll put the door in afterwards. That's fine. So, yeah. Okay, I'm actually going to go up one as well. There we go. So I'm going to go ahead and cut this. No, I'm not. I'm going to go ahead and copy this. I'm going to press U. I'm going to take it to the other side. We're going to paste it back in, and all shall go well. There we go. All right, paste it. Merge it. Let's go. There we go. Excellent. So now it's on both sides. Very nice. Uh, we need to attach all the electricity together again, obviously. So there we go. We're going to connect all of them to the backlights as well. That's A-OK. -okay. Attach them to each other. Remember, keep it going. There we go. To the backlights up there. To the backlights up here, to there, to there. Excellent. Right, so now if any of that gets shot, it's fine. Uh, we can still get to it, which is awesome. Uh, and we need a door in here. And that's it. There we go. Delete the bits that matter. Delete the bits that matter. There we go. There is currently no floor in here. Interesting. Oh, and this comes in halfway along. Aha. All right, here we go. Come on, send it down. Excellent. We are going to need to paint the floors in here, that's okay. Uh, and we need a door. Let's go ahead and whack this door in here, like this. Delete this piece, put it in, whack it on there like that. That is excellent. Very good. Okay, fill in the roof. And there we go, we can actually get down the sides and do all the stuff. Good, that's actually really cool. We're going to drag the floor in uh, on both sides. Bam and bam. And it should have done it on this side too. Yes, it has. Uh, and that's excellent. It totally works. Brilliant. Okay, so there is actually something else that I do want to show you guys, and it is uh, in here. So, uh, if you guys have been following my videos, and you guys seen this cat and, oh, cat and crowd, uh, I built this with a modular engine, and it didn't seem to work. Now, the reason it's not working is actually because these things aren't placed properly. So you need to replace those, you need to grab these, replace those, and then it should actually drive. Um, at least a little bit. Before, it was stalling out before I even moved. So there you go. But anyway, let's go ahead and spawn this in. And now that I've done that, it should actually work. Alright, ready? Alright, engine's on. Rev it up. Go. There you go, so it works a little bit. You see? There you go, amazing. Amazing, right? It still stalls out if I push it down too much. But yeah, it actually works now, which is awesome. I just thought I'd share that with you guys. If you place tank tracks and they don't work properly, um, place them in mirror mode and then they will. So, there you go. Good. Also, if you're wondering why I brought this out during the building of the landing craft, it's because the landing craft is probably going to have those on it eventually. I don't know. It, it would be a possibility. So, there you go. Uh, but anyway, this is what we're up to with the landing craft. We've added all the side hatches. Um, the roof is something where I kind of feel like we should have it where it folds down. Or maybe some of them don't have it. Some of them can, some of them can't. I guess that makes sense. That does totally make sense. Um, the way that I'm going to do this, though, is I want it to be symmetrical. Somewhat. So somewhat symmetrical is going to happen. Here we go. Delete all of that. There we go. Excellent. Put that piece on there and then do this. There we go. And then do all of these guys as well. This is fine. This is fine. All the way up there to there. Delete this guy in the middle. And put that guy across. Because at the minute, it looks a bit weird that it's all very random. <laughs> it's all very random. Okay, how many are part of these? One, two, three, four. Okay, one, two, three, four. All right, put that in there. Grab this guy. Put it in there. Delete this all the way up to here. And then put these guys in all the way up there. And it should look, in theory, that little tiny bit better. Delete that. Put this in. There we go. Uh, and yeah, I feel like that does actually look a little bit nicer. Excellent. Right, so with all that being said, I don't know what else to do with this thing today. Uh, I kind of feel like we should armor up the front so the machine gunner doesn't just die. So maybe we should do that, actually. Maybe we should do that. All right, delete this guy, this guy, this guy, this guy, and this guy, and that guy. 
There we go. Uh, we need weight blocks. Weight blocks on these pieces. So I think we'll go with this color. Weight block. Here we go. So weight block's going to go up to there. I'm going to do it again. We're going to do a bit right here with weight blocks. A bit right here with weight blocks. There we go. Somewhat like this. That's good. We'll then do something like this backwards. And we'll have weight blocks go backwards from there. Okie dokie. Except it actually has to go this way too. There we go. And then weight blocks again. Because weight blocks count as armor, right? So we're having armor in places. We're having armor in places. There we go. Excellent. And that actually looks okay. It works. There we go. Whack that in. Uh, and then I guess we should put armor in front. So we're going to actually do this. And also this. There we go. And also this. It looks a bit mad with what we've done here, but I'm sure it's fine. In fact, delete this one and put this on. And it looks better? Question mark? I don't know if that looks better. There we go. We'll do it like that. That looks excellent. So now we've got a little bit of armor for the, for the front gunners. Uh, and that's fine. We should also give them extra machine gun ammo too. So let's put that in here. All right, how do I put this in nicely? One, two, three. Okay, we'll have three extra ammunitions for these guys. Kinetic, uh, armor piercing, and incendiary. Same on this side. Kinetic, armor piercing, incendiary. There we go, excellent. And that's all done. Nice, so now the machine gunners have extra ammo. Um, we've got the hatches on the side, which are all epic. Let's go inside here again. Sorry that I keep switching and, and changing what I'm doing, but I'm sure it's fine. So, in between uh, each one of these, we're going to delete that. Alright, we're going to delete this. There we go. We're going to delete this one. We're going to delete this one. In fact, actually, we'll just do it on one of them, and then we can do it all the way along. So, delete these guys. We need uh, a gun. Alright, it's going to be a rifle. There we go. We're going to get it the right color, and we're going to put it back in here. So, like this. There we go. We get ourselves a rifle. Good. We're then going to delete this guy and this guy. And we're going to get the rifle ammo, and we're going to put it all the way down the side. The right way up, though. There we go. And the right way up here as well. There we go. Excellent. And then we just got to copy and paste this guy, and that's it. All right. Copy. Move it along. And we're going to paste it in and keep it going, essentially. So we're going to do it here. Paste. All right. And here as well. Paste it. There we go. Keep it going. Even to these bits where I've deleted bits, that's fine. There we go. Keep it pasting. There we go. And I think this is actually a cool idea because, honestly, like, we need guns uh, in here. So we might as well add them like this. All right, merge this one with this one, this one with this one, this one with this one. We're going to have to copy, like, this entire side uh, now that I've done this. But there's machine guns everywhere. Or rifles everywhere, I should say. All right, so now we've done all that. We're going to grab this piece. All the way down to the end right here. We're going to go ahead and copy it. We're going to press U. We're going to take it to the other side. Here we go. And as soon as we fit it in, paste it. We're going to merge it. And that's it. That's all good. Wait, these pieces aren't merged with these. <gasps> oh, that would have been bad. That would have been real bad. But we could do this. There we go. We need to fix all of these pieces as well. Because now, those ones won't even have electricity, will they? Yeah, they don't have electricity. I'm going to have to do all the electricity bits again, but that's okay. I'll do that. Anyway, um, yeah, let me do this, and I'll be back with you guys in a second. Okie dokie, so now that we've done that, let's go ahead and send this thing out into the ocean and see what it does, because I, 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 I don't know. We've added holes. We've added holes to the hole. That's essentially what we've done. Uh, so there you go. But anyway, let's go ahead and drive it out. Uh, I don't know whether we can drive it around to the right. Yeah, we will. All right, we're going to drive it all the way around to the right, and then we're going to send it that way. We're going to open up all the, all the windows and see what it looks like. Yeah, I think mean, that's fine. All right, here we go. So let's go this way. Drive it all the way down. This way, very good. We're going to go downstairs. We need lights on the top deck uh, still, because we don't have any. Uh, and we need lights everywhere else as well, so we'll probably end up doing that at some point. But anyway, go downstairs, close that up. Go around the side. It looks a bit dodgy, that, to be fair. But it's fine. There we go. Open up all of the windows. We're going to open up all of them. There we go. I think I'm going to put like little ridges on these as well. Uh, and that'll look fine. 
Uh, and then, yeah, if you're in here, you can sh shoot your unit. Yeah. And to be fair, you can aim quite far forward from in here, so that's okay. Yeah. Alright, let's do the other side. Make sure they're all working as well, because that's, um... Yeah, a possibility that they're not. Oh, they're not linked together, are they? The batteries aren't linked with the... The buttons aren't linked with the things. Yikes. Okay, so we'll need to fix that. Um, I, I guess I'll do it now. Yeah, why not? So it's actually the pivots that aren't linked. Uh, it doesn't really matter which one of these goes to which one of the, Well, I guess it does, actually. They have to go with the same ones as the buttons. But now they're all done. They, it, it should be fine. It should work on both sides. Uh, and that is completely fine. So we've done it. We've actually done it. We need to open up all the windows again. We're going to sail out again. And all that's going to be fine. We need to add lights to this thing as well. We'll do that in another video. But yeah, if you guys can think of anything else that needs adding to this thing um, that would that would mean that it needs its own video kind of thing, let me know in the comments down below because I'm struggling with things that need their own video, if that makes sense. So yeah. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and send this out in this direction. Is that a tsunami? Why is there a wave, like a massive wave coming towards us? That's really weird. What is that? Is that from a whirlpool? It's for, it's, a, it's an actual tsunami. No. It must be a what? What? Why would there be a tsunami? I don't know. I don't even care. Uh, Alright, so I'm going to go downstairs. And we're going to do the thing. Alright, jump over here. Go in here. Close this. Open sesame. Open all of these. I will die if I'm in here. Uh, I feel like we need a way to get from the inside of this to the deck without going through the... Oh. Alright, we just went over the rogue wave. <laughs> we just went straight over it, that's fine. Alright, nice. We need lights inside of here as well. We need lights in the engine room, but that's fine. Open up this, open up this, open up this one. There we go. So, we know that it can actually deal with rogue waves now, so that's good. It doesn't have anything on it though, so... Never mind. But anyway, that's all of them open. Let's get back up to the top. There we go. Close this up. Excellent. Go upstairs. There we go. Go upstairs, please. There we go. Very nice. And there we go. So that's with them all open. I think that's. I think that even looks kind of cool. I like it. You've got to be very careful with this. You've got to be extremely careful. So one thing I wanted to check was if you damaged. Uh, if you damaged the roof. Let me just reload real quick. If you damaged it, what happens? I can't even, I can't even damage it, guys. It's it's a problem. I need to damage this bit. I can't even aim at the right place because it doesn't work that way. All right, I need to damage that anyway. So it actually stays stuck open. Oh, no, wait, what? That's not even broken. We've literally got, like, holes in it. What the? Hang on a second. This robotic pivot needs to die. There we go. So if the robotic pivot gets shot, then the actual window closes. Um, and that's all good. That's a good thing. I did a pump. I just pumped mid-video. Whoops. I'm going to leave that in. Uh, it's a natural thing, guys. It's natural, okay? But anyway, yeah. So I'm actually going to end this video here for now. Thank you guys very much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And I guess I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.